Hello, and thank you for visiting our website at the New York City Museum School. On behalf of Ms. Fontanez, Ms. Hindalong, Ms. Skirianos, Ms. Williams, and Ms. Ortiz, this is Assistant Principal Joel Lowy, and I'll be talking to you today about all the important facts you should know about the Museum School. The Museum School has five partners, the Met, the Whitney, and the Japan Society, which are just three of the many museums our students visit, the Schoenberg Center, where students do internships, and Hudson River Community Sailing, which is a unique after-school sailing program that has math, science, and physical education components. Students get the opportunity starting in ninth grade to learn how to sail while learning valuable STEM skills so important for today. Overall, our school has about 450 students who take all the typical core academic classes, English language arts, social studies, math, science, Spanish, Japanese, or French, art, physical education. In addition to those classes, students take four museum-based modules throughout every school year. I'll talk in detail about those coming up. Going more deeply into each year, you can see that our ninth grade program, students take English, Global History I, Algebra or Geometry, Living Environment or Marine Biology, Spanish, Japanese or French, Physical Education, and Health. Our ninth grade museum modules complement those classes. Biodiversity is connected to the science curriculum, World Religions is connected to the Global Studies and English curricula, Latin America is connected to the Social Studies and Language Curricula, and Identities is the ninth grade art module. In 10th grade, students have the opportunity to take their first AP courses, European History and Environmental Science. In addition, they continue on to the next math and foreign language in the sequence they began in 9th grade. The 10th grade museum module similarly connects to the core curricula. It is worth noting that you that Japan Past and Present module is an outgrowth of our partnership with the Japan Society and that Geometric Structures module is our first math-focused module which allows students to apply the principles of geometry to construction and architecture. Our 11th grade curriculum has more advanced placement opportunities, language and composition, U.S. history, and statistics. All 11th grade students take chemistry as their science and finish their three-year foreign language sequence as well. Similar to 9th and 10th grades, the 11th grade museum modules connect to the core curricula. The coding module is the first opportunity for students to engage in computer science, and the NYC Through New Eyes module is a creative writing venture that feeds directly into the school's literary magazine, The Archive. Our 12th grade curriculum has five AP opportunities, Literature, Calculus AB, Biology, World History, and Government and Politics. All students take government and economics as their history class. There are no museum modules in grade 12, but this year includes a course called College Institute, in which students meet in large and small groups with the college counselor to thoroughly plan and prepare for the next four years of college. In the previous slides, I discussed the 10 different AP courses that are available to students, though it may not be possible for students to take all 10. We make every effort to ensure that opportunities for AP classes are spread evenly. Students have the additional opportunity to take college courses through the College Now program at Baruch College in grades 11 and 12. We are a College Access for All school, which is a program through the Department of Education that aims to provide college preparatory resources to students in small schools like ours with a college-bound population. We also have full-time college counselors who work with students in all grades, but predominantly 12th grade, so that students have leveled support throughout their high school years leading up to college. Our graduation rate is 99%, among the very highest in all of New York City, and we are in the 95th percentile for college readiness in all of New York City. While the museum school is among the best schools academically in New York City, we ensure that all students of different academic levels have the supports they need to be successful. Students who have an IEP, or an Individualized Education Program, receive supports most commonly through ICT services, in which courses are team-taught or which students receive one-on-one -on -one or small group support from a specialized teacher. We offer tutoring for all students beginning after our first marking period, or any time as arranged with each teacher. We have an advisory program, and our advisory teachers take part in regular training in social-emotional learning and trauma-informed pedagogy. 
We also have regular town hall meetings by grade. Our guidance counselors meet with each individual student throughout the year to provide regular support as necessary. Lastly, we use PupilPath as our online communication and grading portal so students and parents can see updated progress in real time and communicate with all school personnel easily. In addition to our fine academic program, we offer many extracurricular activities to enhance the overall student experience. Our clubs change every year based on student interest. This year they include the Archive Literary Magazine, Black Student Union, Chorus, Dungeons and Dragons Club, Drama Club, Fashion and Design Club, Foreign Language Club, our Gay Straight Alliance or GSA, the League of Colors, the Guitar Club, Hudson River Community Sailing, Japanese Club, Museum Social Club, the National Honor Society, Social Justice Club, Sports Stats Club, Student Government, Women's Empowerment Club. Our PSAL sports teams are shared with the NYC Lab High School, with whom we also share this building, and our team name is LMU, Lab Museum United. The current set of teams are basketball, soccer, baseball, softball, girls volleyball, girls tennis, golf, track, and cross country. Some other general information of note. In a typical year, our school day is 8.15 a.m. to 2.35 p.m. Monday through Friday. Our four museum module weeks are in October, December, March, and May. During the museum module weeks, students arrive to school at 8.15 a.m., spend the mornings in their classrooms processing the previous day's visit and or preparing for that day's visit, and then leave with their class after lunch to a museum or other cultural site. Students are dismissed from their travel location at 2.35 p.m., but a teacher will always ensure that students know their way home or at least back to the school, and of course, all transportation is included. Our school day has eight periods, six instructional periods, an advisory period, and of course, a lunch period. Students can go out for lunch if they choose, but the cafeteria serves a complete breakfast and lunch free of charge to all students. Students receive an average of one and a half to two hours of homework a night, and our average class size is 28. As you likely know, the Department of Education has removed district geographic priorities, so the museum school is fully open and accessible to all citywide applicants. Given the available data for this year's applicants, we have decided to consider our applicants' 6th and 7th grade course grades only and will not include the standardized ELA and math tests. We encourage general education students with averages of 85% or higher and students with IEPs with averages of 80% or higher to apply. There are 136 seats available for grade 9 and 5 to 10 seats available for grade 10 each year. We are a diversity and admissions school this year, which means that a percentage of seats will be held for students who receive free or reduced price lunch. The specific number of reserved seats will be determined soon with guidance from the Office of Enrollment. This concludes our presentation. Please be sure to watch our virtual tour and to register for one of our Q&A sessions. Also, please check out our website, www.nycmuseumschool.org, and follow us on Instagram at NYC Museum School to get another look at our school and our amazing students. If you have any further questions or anything else you would like to share, please email our guidance counselor, Ms. Williams, directly at mwilliams137 at schools.nyc.gov. Thank you, and hope to see you in September.